In this video, we are going to showcase 20 different Flexbox footers that you can create using Divi 5. And not just that, you can go ahead and download all these Flexbox footer template right inside your Divi library. So make sure you go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And this will take you to our blog post where you just need to enter your email address and you will be able to download all the different Flexbox footer templates that you can simply import in your Divi library and start using in your next Divi project. So let's dive in and take a look at all these Flexbox footers that we have. All right, so first let's go on to our blog post and scroll down. And here we will find an option to download these Flexbox footer templates. So let's click on this. And here we just need to enter our email address. So I'm just going to do that right now. And then click on download. All right, now we got the download button. So let's click on this. And we are getting the zip file downloaded. All right, so here is our zip file. And here on the blog post itself, you will be able to see a quick preview of all these footer templates that we have created. And let me show you the live preview as well. So here we have an example one. Here we have another example. Here's the next one. Here's the next one. So these are the footer templates that you can simply import in your Divi library and use on any Divi project. Now let me show you how they look on different devices. So let's change the device format from here. So this is how they're going to look on mobile. This is how it's going to look on tablet. So now we have already downloaded the zip file. Let's go ahead and unzip it and import it in our Divi library. For that, we need to come back here in our WordPress backend. And here we need to go to Divi. And from here, we need to go to Divi library and then click on import and export and click on import from here and then select the file. So now let's go ahead and click on choose file. And here we have the two folders that we have just unzipped. So we have pre-styled and we have default. So let's say we go ahead and import the first one. Let's click on open and let's import this in our Divi library. All right, so here we have the Flexbox footer imported in our Divi library. So now we can go ahead and create a custom footer and import this template. So we come back here in our Divi section and here we go to Divi theme builder. And now we need to create a new global footer and we are going to click on build footer from here and then open the Divi visual builder or we can simply choose add from library right here. So let's click on add from library. We go to saved layouts and here we have our Flexbox footer layout that we have just imported. Let's click on this and let's click on use this layout. All right, now let's go ahead and edit this and it's going to open the template in the DB visual builder and here we have it. If we open the layers view, here we can see we have the footer section we have three different rows and in the first row we have two columns then in the second row we again have three column layout and now we can simply go ahead and edit any text or any module in this template and once we have done all the changes make sure we test it on different devices and once we are satisfied we can go ahead and click on save and then click on exit. And once we are back in our theme builder, make sure we turn on the visibility of our footer template in the front end and then click on save changes to save all the changes we made in the template. And then let's open any page in the front end. And this is how our footer looks. All right, so we hope you like these footer templates. And if you do, then do let us know in the comment section below. And for more Divi and WordPress updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next video.